Good morning, welcome to the sanctuary. And uh, Sarah's just warming up with the gongs, the gong bath here. Lovely tones from those different gongs, isn't it? And they're really great for healing, for anxiety. Right. That's the picture of Harry. Sound of the gong still here. Lovely morning. This is just at the side of the marquee. That lovely view. Just go into the healing minute. We give thanks that we gathered here today and we ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel a column of pure white light filling your body. Then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure unconditional love balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. And Harry Woods prayer May I be thankful for all the blessings I already have. Grant me relief from pain and sickness and protect me from all ills. 
grant me good health in the days to come, remove all causes of imperfection, and bring your healing ministers close to me, so that I may be, pres be conscious of their presence and receive guidance and inspiration. Grant me courage and fortitude to overcome all adversity. Let me be conscious of your strength in all times of need. Grant me confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Teach me how to live rightly in your sight, to do only that which is right and true. I pray that good guidance and right influencing will inspire your, all your peoples to be as brothers one to the other and that peace shall endure for all time. We ask now that all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder may receive healing for the highest good. We also request healing for their family, friends and people for whom they have requested distant healing. May they be placed in the healing light and receive that which they are allowed to receive for the highest good. Please join me now in a minute's silence and we can send our healing thoughts up to any people who we know at the moment who aren't feeling well. And as always, please remember the animal kingdom. Our thanks and blessings for your help here today and to our friends in spirit. Amen. Next Tuesday is World Animal Day, October the 4th. That was a day that was begun by Harry Edwards. My healing minute isn't until the Wednesday, so I'll miss it but so what I'd like to do on this healing minute is just give the stories that I'm going to read to you a sort of animal twist and I'm going to start off with a few stories and then I'll go into something by Harry Edwards and I'll start off with an Indian legend There's an old Indian legend that says when a human dies there's a bridge they must cross to get into heaven. And at the head of the bridge waits every animal that human ever encountered during their lifetime. The animals based on what they know of this person, decide which humans may cross the bridge and which are turned away. I think that's what's called payback time. And there's another story here about Rainbow Bridge. 
Just this side of heaven is a place called Rainbow Bridge. When an animal dies that has been especially close to someone here, that pet goes to Rainbow Bridge. There are meadows and hills for all of our special friends so they can run and play together. There's plenty of food, water and sunshine and our friends are warm and comfortable. All the animals who had been ill and old are restored to health and vigour. Those who were hurt or maimed are made whole and strong again, just as we remember them in our dreams of days and times gone by. The animals are happy and content, except for one small thing. They each miss someone very special to them who had to be left behind. They all run and play together, but the day comes when one suddenly stops and looks into the distance. His bright eyes are intent, his eager body quivers. Suddenly he begins to run from the group, flying over the green grass, his legs carrying him faster and faster. You have been spotted. And when you and your special friend finally meet, you cling together in joyous reunion, never to be parted again. The happy kisses rain upon your face, your hands again caress the beloved head, and you look once more into the trusting eyes of your pet, so long gone from your life, but never absent from your heart. Then you cross Rainbow Bridge together. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? And just to finish the stories, a little poem. The poem's called Meet Me at the Rainbow Bridge. When you feel a little lonely and all you want is me, just place a hand upon your heart and you know that's where I'll be. I know how much you're hurting, but remember me and smile. I know we're apart right now, but it's only for a while. Take comfort that I'm happy, where the sky is always blue. I'll be waiting at the Rainbow Bridge when heaven calls for you. <laughs> right. And Harry Edwards, who had a wonderful love of animals and in his book 30 years of spiritual healer he talks about the animals a lot and of healings he's been involved in with animals i envied the man i once saw in hyde park who played with the sparrows as he fed them with crumbs of bread He'd get them to dance as they flew to catch the crumbs he, he threw into the air and to perch on his hand to take the food from his fingers. It was one of the happiest moments of my life when seated in some public gardens, the sparrows came and took crumbs from my fingers. I recall the case of healing, of all things, of a herd of cows. The farmer came to see me to ask for help. He was an understanding man of good nature and from his personal experiences, had good reason to believe in the efficacy of healing. He told me his herd of cows was very sick. The veterinary surgeon had just examined them and had diagnosed the entire herd to be suffering from chronic mastitis. This diagnosis was so serious that it could mean that the whole herd would never again be useful for milk production and might even have to be destroyed. So it was that the farmer whose herd was situated at Newlands Corner, a Surrey beauty spot not far from the sanctuary, came at once to enlist the aid of spiritual healing. I told the farmer that as soon as he left, I would enter into intercession to seek healing for the cows, and for his part, he should return right away and gently massage the udders with his hands, having at the same time thoughts in his mind that the mastitis would yield and go. The farmer did this, and while it may be hard for a sceptic to believe, the morning after, he found all the others soft, and by the end of the day, all symptoms of hardness and soreness had disappeared. I understand that in normal circumstances, when a cow has mastitis of one or more quarters, it takes some days of careful nursing with injections before it gets well. And even then, the quarters may not yield any milk, or at best a reduced quantity. 
In the case of the herd in question, the milk yield began to return the day after the healing. And this increased to normal one day later. When the vet called the following morning, he was astonished. The farmer reported to me that he had exclaimed, well, what's the matter with me? Have I been dreaming? He again visited the farm, with even more astonishment when he found the udders functioning so well and the milk yield so good. Who could explain miracles, he said. He asked the farmer how he accounted for the phenomenal recovery and what treatment he had given to his herd. The farmer replied, just spiritual healing, which the veterinary surgeon thought was a great joke. There was a wonderful talking budgerigar in Southampton. His name was Tony. His vocabulary was extensive and he had auditions at the BBC. This budgie became ill. He lost his feathers, moped, and looked a very poor specimen indeed. The owner was very distressed and wrote for absent healing for her pet and taught him to say, how red woods heal me. The bird soon recovered and grew a brighter dress of plumage than before. The bird was indeed receptive for healing, for each time he showed signs of sickness, I would be told of this so that absent healing could be extended to him. And always he seemed to respond at once. Tony lived to a very old age before he flew into spirit life. The following story is a favourite of mine, and of mine too. One day a van drew up in the forecourt of Burroughs Lee. A man and his wife aboard a very sick Alsatian dog. They opened the doors of the van and I went in. The dog was lying on blankets and as I looked at it, it seemed very near to death. The body was wasted and very thin. The hind part of the body and legs were paralysed and the dog's eyes were sunken and glazed over. I sat down by the dog for a while and held its head in my hands. As I sought for healing to help it in all ways, it was still possible. There seemed to be no response, and after a while I laid the dog's head gently down and took the owners into the house where we had a cup of tea together. I told them I thought their dog was dying. We talked for about half an hour, and when they got up to take their leave, I said to them, let's just take another look at your dog. When the rear van doors were opened, our astonishment was great, for there stood the dog standing up on his four legs and wagging his tail. He joyously came towards us, but did not go to his master or mistress, coming straight to me, to be cuddled as if he knew quite well that he had to express his gratitude. We gave the dog some milk and food, which pleased my visitors, for he hadn't been able to take any nourishment for some time. These instances of animal healing can be multiplied many times over from the records of animal healers. It's wonderful, quite wonderful. Let's carry on walk up here. Up these steps. Let's 
such a nice morning. I thought I'd take a look at the rose garden. next week next Tuesday on World Animal Day there'll be five Zoom meetings Goodbye, my friends. Enjoy your day, and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye-bye.